Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do something different. I want to talk about six aircraft I desperately want to see in the game. And I will do this for every major nation in the game. And we will start with the Italians. Now the first aircraft on this list is the Piaggio P119. This was a prospected Series 5 aircraft like the RE2005, Fiat G55 and the MC205. The aircraft actually does not look too dissimilar to the P-39 and that's because its chief designer actually had worked for some time in the United States and had known the um, attributes of the P-39. Unlike the American fighter, the P-119 had an air-cooled radial buried in the fuselage, which was cooled by a big duct below the nose. The engine was a Piaggio P-15 RC-45 with 1500 horsepower. Rather heavy at 4 tons, but with a big wing area of 28 meters, uh, square meters, the P119 had a wing loading of 147, which is not that bad actually, it's actually pretty good. Um, during test flights uh, it reached reportedly 644 kilometers per hour. Armament consisted of 120mm cannon in the nose and 450 caliber machine guns. The first test flight took place on the 19th of December 1942 and after that, after that followed a um, rather long tweaking period. The engine encountered overheating problems particularly while idling on the ground. This uh, delayed the P119 quite a bit. Um, in fact so much so that the aircraft would not be ready for uh, mass production uh, until, uh, not even until 1943 by which time the Italians signed the armistice which uh, brought an end to the Piaggio P119. Now in the game I think the P119 will probably be like a mid-tier dogfighter. I suspect it may be a little bit sluggish because of the high weight but a very good turn and because of that low wing loading probably pretty maneuverable um, with good armament and I would suspect it to be either be R at around 4.0, 4.3 maybe. You really need, really need to see how it would perform in the game. Yeah, only one of these aircraft would, pre would be produced and what eventually happened to it is not known. But most likely it was scrapped. Next on our list is the Caproni Visola F6Z and F6M. These were two prototypes, both being um, Series 5 contenders, with the X F6M with a German double Benz DB605 like the other Series 5 aircraft and the F6Z with uh, an X24 Isotta Flashing Zeta engine, which was intended to produce 1500 horsepower but in service managed only 1200. The X-Type is also the reason why the F6Z has two rows of uh, exhaust stacks and that looks actually rather cool. Both of these aircraft were based on the earlier F5 and F4 prototypes with the F6M taking first to the sky in September of 1941 with the F6Z following in August 43, the F6Z being delayed because of um, constant problems with the engine. The F6M was uh, during testing quickly damaged and abandoned and work focused more on the F6Z. The F6Z was uh, intended to be armed with 350 caliber Breda Zafat machine guns and it would have been a rather light aircraft at roughly 2.9 tons with a wing loading of around 155 kg per square meter which is around the same ballpark as the Fiat G55 I think. Um, a top speed of 650 km per hour was apparently recorded. The um, F6Z is of course um, has lesser armament than the other Series 5 uh, but I still think it would be a good dogfighter with either, to, with either of these engines, whether it is the F6M or the F6Z. So I think it would be at a battle rating of 3.3, maybe rank 2, maybe even a premium. But that's where I would place the F6M and the F6Z. At number 4 we have the Fiat CR42 DB. Now the DB is a regular CR42 that is powered by a Daimler Benz 601 engine, the same engine that would power the famous Messerschmitt 109. The DB received a longer fuselage because of the engine was of course bigger 
and all these modifications resulted in the aircraft being 230 kilograms heavier than the standard Fiat CR42. Nevertheless, it would become the fastest biplane ever built with a top speed of 520 km per hour. Armed with 250 caliber machine guns, the aircraft showed impressive performance, but it would be clear that the era of the biplane was clearly over. Despite the performance, it was readily uh, acknowledged that the Fiat CR42 DB offered less development potential than uh, the regular monoplanes that were in service at the time. Not to mention, the Italians had a shortage of DB601 engines, and those they did have were intended to be mounted in the Maki C202 fighter. It first took to the sky in 1941. One aircraft would be built. What happened to it remains unknown. Now, this will be quite a menace at low tier. I suspect this aircraft to it would probably have a BR of like 2.3 maybe. Um, the 50 calibers clap really hard and the aircraft is very agile and maneuverable, so this could be quite a fun machine to fly in low tiers. At number 3 we have the Ambrosini SAI 403, which was a very lightweight fighter with a low powered engine making use of readily available materials. Constructed entirely from wood and best on the earlier uh, 207, which in turn must have taken heavy inspiration from the Cordron C714, which is not too unlikely as Italian caught a hold of the 714 and the 207 looks very similar to the uh, 714. Um, but unlike the 714, the 403 was given a much more powerful engine. It used a Isotta Fraschini Delta of up to 1000 horsepower. With that, top speed was recordedly 648 km per hour. The aircraft was very, very lightweight. Its maximum takeoff weight was 2.6 tons. That's max takeoff weight, not loaded. Um, despite the low powered engine, a 16 meter per second climb weight was attained, which for such a low powered aircraft is actually pretty decent. Three variants um, were planned in terms of armament either 250 caliber machine guns. 250 cals and two 20mm MG 151s or two 20mm MG 151s. Um, the max wing loading was actually 182, which is for such a small and light aircraft rather high. But still, um, first flight took place in January of 1943, and the aircraft, which was nicknamed the Dado, which means Dart, received um, actually some interest by the, from the Germans and the, and the Japanese. But in 1943, the war ended in Italy with the armistice before more than a prototype was built. The Germans particularly were interested because of the use of uh, readily available materials, something the Germans and the Japanese were constantly lacking. Um, the aircraft was after the armistice captured by Germany and its track is lost after 1944. I suspect the aircraft will not be that good in a turn fight with its high wing loading and low powered engine, but I suspect it to be pretty agile um, because of the light weight and it will be having hard hitting guns. That's why I would see it at a battle rating of 2.7 like in the IAR 81. At number 2 we come to the Savoia Marchetti SM93. The SM93 is a dive bomber with a highly unusual design. It kind of resemb uh, resembles the uh, Ilyushin IL-20, which was a post-war Russian aircraft. Both of these machines had um, highly positioned cockpits, which allowed for great visibility to the front. However, unlike in the IL-20, the uh, SM93's pilot would be lying in a prone position. This would make it easier for him to withstand the G-forces during dive and pullout. The rear gunner would um, be placed in a regular seat and the aircraft received the Daimler-Benz DB605 engine, the same engine that would power the later Messerschmitt BF109s. The first prototype was um, completely of wooden construction and had a large wing area. Intended armament was 120mm cannon, 350 caliber machine guns and 1.5 tons of bombs. During test flights, the prototype reportedly achieved uh, diving speeds of up to 900 km per hour and a regular top speed flat out of 580 km per hour. Unfortunately, despite the aircraft being, despite its looks rather advanced, it came way too late. Its first flight took place in January 1944. By this time, um, Italian had, it, Italy had already signed the armistice 
and the aircraft was not needed anymore as it was intended to attack Mediterranean shipping in case of an invasion. Uh, only one prototype of this highly unusual machine. Now where this aircraft would sit in the attack tree, I don't really know. I mean it could be quite a good blend between a fighter and a dive bomber actually. It's not too fast but exceptionally good in a dive. Um, its armament is decent and the wing loading despite uh, it looking that heavy was not too high actually. So pff, difficult to say. I would go with a 4.0 BR at first, maybe tweak it depending on it, on it performing good or bad, but this really is a strange one. And with that we come to the number one spot. The one aircraft I am definitely uh, most desperately wanting to see in the game can of course be none other than the Rijani RE2006 and this is one hell of a machine. The RE2006 is the Series 6 entry from Rejani. It follows the same technical principles of the uh, Fiat G56 that we already have in game. Now the G56 was um, a G55 retooled to fit the Daimler Benz 603 engine, which was the largest displacement V12 Germany had to offer, producing some 1750 horsepower as standard. Um, now, while the G56 was eventually test flown by the Germans, the RE2006 would be kept a total secret. It of course had a longer fuse large thanks to the bigger engine, but retained the same armament as the Rajani 2005. Um, thanks to it being kept a secret, it did not fall into German hands. One prototype was completed, but I've read that the engine was not fitted yet, and um, after the war the aircraft was sadly sadly not flown. So this is the only aircraft in this list that never actually took to the sky. Now, with the Rijani RE2005's already insane performance in game, I can't wait to see what the RE2006 could do. I mean, it's basically a 2005 on steroids. Remember that the regular DB605 of the 2005's develops around 1475 horsepower. The DB603 develops 1750. This would boost the performance of the aircraft quite a lot from its predecessor. I can't wait for them to introduce this aircraft into the game and I hope it comes sooner than later. With the very powerful engine, the aircraft will most likely be a very very good performer and I suspect it to be sitting at a BR of 6.3 should it be introduced. At the same BR as the Fiat G56 and rightfully so because this will be one of the top dogs when it comes to prop driven aircraft. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Next one I think I'm gonna do the Americans, but we'll see about that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.